Excuse me. This Pachinko talk needs to stop. It needs to die. This theory, trash. Shallow, weak, irrelevant, incorrect. Why? Because if you click on the goods and services details of the Bloody Roar trademark, it says that it is mainly used for, keyword for, because literally if you click for, right here, it says downloadable video game programs, recorded video game programs, downloadable video game software, recorded video game software, downloadable computer game programs, recorded computer game programs, etc. Fucking game programs and software. It has nothing, nothing to do with arcade machine slash parts or coin ops. Or coin op, if you get what I mean. Whatever Pachenko's use, doesn't list it here. Also doesn't have anything to do with mobile games because there's nothing detailed here regarding mobile devices or tablets or whatever, or parts. So there's that, okay? No Pachenko, no Bloody Roar Pachenko is happening. That's 100% fact. Don't try to argue that with me because it's incorrect. If they wanted to make a quick cash grab off of a dead series that hasn't had shit since 2003 slash 2004, they would have done it already. It requires far less time and far less resources and far less energy to make. So that's not happening. Let's get that out the fucking way. Second thing, the main thing, the important thing. Now, what happened with the Bloody Road trademark today was that the office slash attorney that examines properties basically put in a preliminary rejection on the Bloody Roar filed trademark that happened on March 23rd by Konami Digital Entertainment. Now, the reason why this happened, most likely, I am 99% sure why this happened. Shout out the jump button for breaking this down for me, by the way. Um, the reason why this happened is because the office doesn't know that Hudson Soft was dissolved into Konami back in 2012. And basically since Hudson Soft, before they were absorbed by Konami back in 2012, they used Bloody Roar for the same purposes and stuff. They don't, the, the office doesn't know that Konami owns Hudson. They absorbed Hudson, so they own all of Hudson's properties. But in this case, they own Bloody Roar, which is a Hudson soft property. So they don't know this. So now Konami basically has to uh, send more details and documents, you know, fact, or facts rather, excuse me, that they own the Bloody Roar trademark and that they own Hudson. They are Hudson, essentially. So that's what they need to do. Now, that's that. There's your update. And by the way, that was that was today. So, you know, this isn't outdated or anything. The other thing I want to clarify is that Hudson Soft, in the past, were not the only developers that made the Bloody Roar games. It was Hudson Soft, and it was Aiden. Aiding are not defunct. They are not owned by any company. They are just contracted by companies to work on games. I've stated this in a video before. I've tweeted this before. But I feel like since this Bloody Roar thing is all hot and stuff, I figured I should just mention that in the video. There was always two developers when it came to the Bloody Roar series. It was never just one. <sighs> so there's that. There's your update on the entire thing. Pachenko Theory is dead. The office sent a confused slash preliminary uh, rejection to Konami because they don't know about Hudson being dissolved into them. And well, now interestingly enough, a PS5 exclusive is going to be revealed soon. According to this verified insider over at Reset Era, the user doesn't spill much, but notes that the game will be announced in the next few months. Furthermore, it sounds like Konami won't be selling the intellectual property, but licensing it, which makes sense. As for the validity of the claims, mods on the forum have noted that the insider has verified the information with them, hence why it's not being taken down. Of course, you should take this information with a grain of salt, blah blah blah. Now, what's funny is that this article doesn't know, or the person that wrote this article is not aware about Bloody Roar being owned by Konami. And the fact that this is going on with the Bloody Roar IP, as I've been showing you guys for the past day or two now, it's looking like we might not see Silent Hill, but we might actually get Bloody Roar 
unexpectedly for a lot of people. So there's that. Um, there's your update on the whole thing, that whole PS5 game reveal thing. That's its own thing. But in terms of the Pachinko theory, in terms of the license getting rejected by the office slash attorney and everything like that, that is fact. Like, it's right here. Also, to any articles that's going to put this out and report on it and shit, give me credit. Because I know you're watching this. If not, fuck you then, I guess. So, yeah. I'm going to go eat and then stream tonight. Y'all have yourselves a good day, and y'all know where to catch me. Y'all know where y'all get y'all bloody roar source slash info from. Don't fall for these bullshit articles because they're taking shit from me as if they're actually digging for it, but they're actually not. They're just trying to get clicks off of the information that I found before them. So, yeah. See y'all later. Have yourselves a good one, and y'all know where to catch me. Peace.